a careful brother Jacob and he's got medication but he gets it changed so regularly that I don't know what's going on and it'd be nice to know what's happening and why it's getting changed so I could understand more about what's happening. When you're given so much medication for the person you're looking after and you're not exactly sure what to do with it at first until you're shown by other people or how many to give, what days to give, what times, you know. It should be child friendly because I don't understand half the words. It's like on oh, my brother's tablets and things like that. So I'd kind of want it to be clearer and there should be someone like the doctors that should be able to explain it to you better. So you can kind of understand without just reading something and being like, what, what, what does that mean, you know? Also, if we need to go pick up prescriptions at the pharmacies, they won't let us do that if we're under 16. Instead of him having to drive up down there, um, I could then um, just walk. Because we've got local doctors in the village, it'd be much easier if I could walk, just get a prescription. Part when Mum first got diagnosed with a condition, um, I wasn't allowed in to appointments, or I had to sit outside, or um, I'd come up and see my mum when she was in hospital. It was only for about, I don't know, 10 minutes or something, and then I had to be shooed out. So I couldn't see them, you know, checking on my mum. And that, that bugged me because I, even to this day I still don't fully know what's wrong with my mum. I don't think like doctors and nurses and people like that, I, I don't really ever see them like, because I'm always in school and if I'm with the doctor they don't really say much to me when I'm with my mum. But district nurses, because I live in such a rural, rural place, like I live in the middle of nowhere, they most of the time refuse to come and see my mum because we live so rural. My mum's got an ileostomy bag and she always runs out of them towards the end of the month and they don't like send her anymore. They're trying to like educate us more about health, so like if there ever was like a problem in a house, like the person we care for was sick and there's no one else about, they like try and teach us first aid, so we might be able to like stop or help. You know? What would be nice is to uh, get out to do one of my favourite sports, swimming, um, because it, it keeps my health health right. Um, it gives me a bit of stress-free time. Um, I'm still having counselling with the doctors to sort my anger out because um, I, sometimes I can't control it. I'm that bad, I just can't control it. I have to obviously go for my prescriptions as well. Uh, and it does, it does get horrible, but um, at the times, it sometimes I feel really happy about being able to help my dad. I don't think it's changing for the better, if anything, we're being ignored and there should be a lot more medical support on hand. The teachers don't see that I sometimes miss a lesson or something to go sit in the Incarer's office to talk rather than in a lesson because I'm stressed or I need someone to talk to. Um, they don't see from my point of view why I'm there and teachers don't tend to understand. Um, I think more teachers need to be aware that I'm a young carer because say if I haven't done my homework or say for whatever reason at home then they wouldn't know that it's because of her and they just thought maybe I'd been lazy or something like that. Um, it is quite stressful at times because I've got my my own work to do, like school work, GCSEs coming up now, so looking after my mum is quite hard at the moment. I can't focus a lot at home, um, I find it really stressful all the time, so I, I like getting out to do things every now and then when I can young carers. It's great. The teachers do not understand where the young carers come from, why they truant, but in actual fact they're actually trying to do things for their family and fit it all into the schedule with their education as well. Um, obviously I sit there worrying and worrying about my dad. I can't concentrate for my work. I do worry a bit if I don't hear from her during the day or if I like can text her and she doesn't text back. I don't think any of the teachers know and like, what I think could be an improvement is either they tell them or we have like a little ID card just to, for in general, just to like show somebody that says, says like we're a young carer. For people to understand for what, uh, what more like, I do for my mum. 
I, that's also an issue because I get detention a lot for not doing my homework because of looking after my mum. We have like a social worker called Mrs Claire Owen and she's got like a list of all the young carers and a couple of my teachers know because like if you have homework and they're in late or if you're late for a lesson they know why you might be late, that you have a reason, like they wouldn't ask you in front of the class. I have to have a note and I would like to be able to just go in and say I've had to do this and this and that and they would understand that. I think there should be someone from a Young Carers project in all schools everywhere as much as possible. I'm a college name, but when I was in school they had support there and people could talk to you about it. It'd be good to have someone in college to talk to you about it and like support you through it. They do quite a lot really. Silwyn comes in every couple of weeks to see how we're doing, has like a little session. They try to do that, take us out of like lessons which aren't core subjects, so they'd never take us out of like an English well science or English lesson, so they wouldn't want to like affect our education as well. So I think we should have a card off young carers to help us more with activities and other things we could do outside of school. There should be like a bus pass for like for young carers so they can get to school if they need to, if they're late or something or they need to get back from school or they need to go shopping or something. Um, used to get like really badly bullied and people take the mick out of the fact that I have to like look after my dad and do his shopping and stuff and a few times I've been jumped and um, I had the shopping and the money taken off me. And then all I've gone home with is like her um, nosebleed and black eyes and stuff like that. So yeah, I would like people to like not take a Mickey out of us for going to young carers, and um, they I would like them to like understand what a young carer is. Um, to begin with, I planned on staying at home and then just travelling to Wrexham University. But it really upset my mum the idea that she was holding me back from going away and living the uni life. So um, after some poking and prodding to go, I'm going. But it's going to be difficult because more social workers are going to have to come in and help my mum. It's, it's, I don't know, I feel sort of guilty for leaving a bit. I want to go to university, but my stepdad looks after her when I'm in school. So I think he should be OK, hopefully. Obviously, I'll come and see her weekends or whenever I can come back and see her but yeah I guess I do worry when I leave. I can't go off to uni or anywhere like that because I won't be around much to help out in my family so it'll be a bit difficult. Uh, yeah in a way things have improved by I now have access to the Young Carers Project in school once a week um, but other than that I don't think teachers are aware of pupil situation at home. When social services were involved in me, they um, were there for me and my siblings, but they tend to care more about the siblings and what my mum and my stepdad were involved in rather than me myself, I was pushed aside. I think it is important to have people there for you, for the support and everything. But some people who don't, they get into other things and it's, it's just easier to have people there to talk to and it's nicer. You can get through it a lot easier. It like, gives you like an hour or a couple of hours away from what goes on in your house. And it lets you know like you're not the only one in the world that like has to deal with these problems. There's other people you can talk about and there is help available to like help if you need it. I think that's improved in a way that we can now get support from social workers, meaning that we can sit down as a family, discuss problems, address solutions, things like that. Basically, don't just shove young carers to the side. Basically, don't put them into the dark, bring them into the light.